Hey friends, it's me, Micah. This is the Homestead Bandwagon. I'm out here in Raleigh, North Carolina at the Coyote Dealer Meeting. We're gonna go check out some new stuff, including the uh, new RX 7340. So uh, let's get in it. All right, here she is. So this runs a new loader, KL340 loader. Uh, they did build in tool storage here. Unfortunately, a gorilla tightened these things, but you can pull this out and there's a tray that slides out with it. Look at that stinking grill. Probably not gonna be putting a bunch of logs through that thing, destroying the radiator. And they were talking about these. 50 50, they're going to have these on the production model. So, prefabbed mounts for hooks. That's a great way to bend your loader. And then behind these plastic shields is your third function valve and an accumulator to help settle down the hard bouncing this loader can have when you're driving fast. Uh, there's a button inside for that. We'll show you that in a bit. Everybody's been begging for fender flares. There's some optional fender flares. The lighting back here is terrible, but we'll do our best. You can turn on your PTO from the rear fender. Lift and lower your three-point arms. That's a hydraulic top link. Didn't hear anything about this. Maybe it's an option. Maybe they're just trying to make us excited about something that won't exist. Hard to tell. Normal stuff you'd see on the uh, RX extendable link arms. Push that handle down. This pulls out so you can square up your implements easier. Locking sway chains. Not sure if you can see that. There's pins to lock these sway chains in place. Get yourself a little tilt there. These are really easy to use. Just twist. There's one set of rear hydraulics attached to the hydraulic top link. And then buttons again for raising and lowering the three point. What a good idea. And turning on your PTO from the fender. And these are 14 tires. That's something everybody has been asking for. And pretty good light set up here. So those are your flashers. A couple lights on top and then these lights that will never do you any good because you got a big grill in the way. Oh, this thing looks pretty cool though. Well, let's get inside. Yeah, there's that buddy seat everybody wanted. Little air vents down here on the uh, steering tower. Lots of cup holders, power supply. PTO selector on your left hand side, 540 neutral and 540E. There's HVAC controls up on your left hand side. And a, uh, I guess they'd call that a sunroof. So you can see where your loader is when you have it all the way lifted. Now the steering column is massive. That lighting is terrible in here, but you can kind of see. So this is a power shuttle, so forward, neutral, reverse, no clutch needed to do that. Uh, here's your DPF override switch, 
looks like a beacon light if you can see these hazard lights and then mode cluster mode eco not real sure what that is turn signal horn button and there's a little foot pedal down here you can push tilt that steering wheel and then orange lever there that's your parking brake so clutch on your left cutting brakes on your right there's a throttle now look at all these AC vents down here or HVAC vents they're down there and nothing in the roof so certainly heat well having no AC coming down from above we'll see how that goes there's your radio speaker next to rear view mirror oh, the visibility in this thing is great so this whole right hand side is completely solid glass whereas the left hand side you have the door but then another little partial window that you can vent and then the back opens as well rear windshield wiper but yeah really great visibility in here so here's your your main shifter so one two three and four button on the side so that's an electric uh, d clutch so you don't have to push down the foot clutch if you're feeling lazy i guess you just press the button and then shift and not too close to your knee if you're using the throttle butt you can kind of get into it a little bit so that's why they also give you a, a hand throttle if you don't want to use the foot throttle and kind of hard to see here I guess it's not that bad but buttons for raising and lowering your three points so no handle just buttons and then this is a draft control lever and here's your control stick for the loader so horn here a horn button there and buttons on the front for your three point or your uh, your third function this isn't terrible but your uh, your your arm doesn't rest on your armrest while you're using it so you're kind of out in space a little bit a lot of people like that though you never endanger a bump on it this is the uh, control for the rear hydraulics that turns on your PTO. Now look at all these buttons. Holy smokes. So what do we got here? Response setting, work and drive, correction, incline and decline, comfort clutch, and IP settings. No idea. I, maybe those are throttle control settings. auto and manual PTO so if you raise your three point it'll turn off your PTO PTO cruise that's to set your uh, PTO speed so you could you know shut off your PTO then shut, turn it back on and it'll go back to the, the speed you had it on um, they're telling us this button here uh, has to do with the well it's the external PTO this must be a lockout for it. I don't know again. I haven't gone through this whole thing. This is just our first look. Four wheel drive. SRS. Uh, this is an option. So if you're driving fast and your loader's bumping around, there's uh, some tanks up front that kind of take that pressure. And so instead of that loader just slamming, it t eases, the, eases the pressure on that thing like you'd have on a skid steer. I don't remember what they call that thing. It's pretty early still. But that's what that is that 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 softens the ride of that uh, that uh, loader from bouncing around. Kind of takes the bounce out of it. And all these lights here it shows you exactly where your light is located that you're pushing the button for. Defrost, windshield wipers, and then this is controls for your three point. So your lowering speed, 
your max upper position for your three-point uh, slope. Sounds like angle in there. That's kind of cool. So uh, a, a tilt kit. Auto PTO position, so that's how high your three-point would get before shutting off your PTO. Uh, there's another one here. I don't know what that one is. Draft control, that must be your sensitivity to your draft control. Another draft control button, no idea. And then exterior PTO, I think that's for turning off, on and off that button on the back. Pretty cool overall, but again, this visibility, awesome. Lots of rooms to throw all your tools here. There's even glass down here so you can see what's going on behind you if you really crane your neck. Thank you. 